From Barrio Logan to linkage fees and a new economic strategy to help the middle class, Interim Mayor Todd Gloria joins us with what's happening now and what lies ahead in 2014 for the city of San Diego. Mayor Gloria, welcome back. Thanks, Peggy. I understand you were quite outspoken yesterday at the uh, city council meeting about putting the Barrio Logan uh, community plan before the voters. Remind us of what that plan is and uh, what your stand is on it now. This plan is an opportunity to update a 35-year-old community plan for Barrio Logan to undo the sort of mishmash of industrial uses next to residential uses and provide a path forward for our maritime industry and for residents of that community. A five-year process where the city spent $4 million to come to this plan uh, is now resulted in a challenge from the maritime industry, an industry that says they even agree with 90% of this plan. And so we're forced with a position now where we have to put this to the voters. The council voted to do that, and I hope that voters in June when they go to the ballot that they'll back up the city council and the Barrio Logan community and vote yes to sustain the plan. And well, really, this plan is really talking about the usage of nine blocks, correct? What it comes down to is that whole plan uh, really is about these nine blocks. And that uh, is, is maddening to me because we have so much approval, so much consensus. I think 90% of agreement, you take it and you run. In this particular case, the business industry is making the decision that they could spend the money on this election, get the outcome that they want, uh, and that's regrettable. That's far, uh, that is not a democratic process. Let's talk about San Diego's referendum process. Would you like to see that changed? You know, this experience and some of our other recent experiences like medical marijuana and superstore ordinances um, have really shown that there's an opportunity here for people with money to purchase the outcome that they want. And I don't think that's what they came up with when this referendum process was created. I think it's worth taking a look at it because we're anticipating more of these in the years to come. And it's frankly, it's just a waste of taxpayer money. Another issue um, that may come before the voters is the uh, city's council uh, stand on, well, it's not the city council, but increasing the uh, commercial development uh, linkage fees. Mm -hmm. Tell us about a little bit, remind us of what that is, and do you think it's going to the voters? Well, it's similar to the Barrio Logan plan in that these fees have not been updated in 17 years. The council finally, a majority, has taken action to update them, and we again have a small group of businesses with the financial ability to challenge this. We have been told that they intend to do that. Uh, they will probably start if they choose to do that later this month, and then the council will be forced with another question like we had yesterday with Barrio Logan sometime in January. Uh, if, if we're posed with that question, I believe we will go to the ballot again, uh, and we should, and the voters should vote to support the city again on this issue. Affordable housing is an incredible threat to our regional economy, and the opportunity to provide more affordable housing to working families is one that I think San Diegans can support. Well, I know the city recently authorized a $98,000 payment for Bob Filner's legal fees. What kind of an impact does that and uh, pending lawsuits against the former mayor have on the city budget? Well, that $98,000 brought us certainty. It bought us the ability to have Bob Filner resign and stop the ongoing liability. What we know is that there are many victims. Many of them are coming forward and filing claims. And there are other things that were going on that were costing taxpayers a lot of money. By sp spending the $98,000 on his legal fees uh, and to get him to resign means that we have no no more of that's going on. This, the taxpayers are no longer liable, and what we can do now is deal with what was done and clean it up rather than having to have more issues every single day coming out of his behavior. Well, you've said uh, all throughout the year you have been cleaning up many of mm -hmm. his issues and, and working uh, in your position right now. Uh, what do you see as some of the other issues in 2014, both good and bad, uh, coming to San Diego? Well, I'm really excited about 2014. I think that we have obviously had a very traumatic year. I like to say that 2013 started out naughty and is ending nice. Okay. Uh, 2014 is going to be the year that I think we get aggressive on our infrastructure. In January, I'll offer a $120 million infrastructure bond for the City Council's consideration. I think you'll finally see some movement on a medical marijuana ordinance in the city. And there'll be a host of other things, electric car charging, a climate action plan, a lot of issues around sustainability uh, for our community. Uh, I think that there are brighter days ahead for this community, and I appreciate every San Diego's patience as we got through the crisis here in 2013. Okay, interim mayor. City Council President, how are you juggling all this? <laughs> I'm doing the very best I can. I have a great staff. I have a lot of support from our council colleagues. And we have 10,000 city workers who show up every day to help me do my job. Uh, I'll be doing this until about March or so, at which point I'll be happy to take a brief vacation uh, and then come back and uh, go back to work for the people of San Diego as the Council President. All right, Interim Mayor Todd Gloria, thanks so much and happy holidays. Same to you, Peggy.